Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. While we still have a wind chill advisory in effect for some portions of eastern Iowa, that'll go into the early parts of our afternoon, and that's why Threat Tracker is still in the orange. Threat Tracker remains in the orange for tomorrow because another wind chill advisory kicks into effect 6 p.m. tonight, goes until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Another round of dangerously cold temperatures. Saturday, though, we finally get a break. We had a few more clouds into the mix, but temperatures will actually be tolerable. Wind chill advisory for all of eastern Iowa, where we could see wind chills as low as 30 below zero. We've come really close so far to that today. Much of the Midwest getting that cold taste. It's about 16 below in Fargo and Bismarck, 6 below in Sioux Falls, 1 degree above zero in Des Moines, 17 in St. Louis, 12 in Chicago, 20 in Louisville. So. It's definitely a cold across much of the Midwest. Wind chills back here at home, 28 below right now in Cedar Rapids, 29 below even in New Hampton. Feels like 19 below in El Cater. You're likely going to need the winter gear all throughout the day. We're still going to have to deal with winds gusting up 30 miles per hour throughout our afternoon and start of our evening. That's what's making it feel a little bit colder out there. Good news is though, winds start to slow tonight through tomorrow. Bad news about the winds slowing though, they're out of the northwesterly direction. If they slow to about five miles per hour, we will see temperatures make a free fall and become even colder tomorrow morning than what they were this morning. Wind chill forecast for noon about 18 below across much of the area. Could see even the 20 below wind chills continue throughout our northwestern counties. By 5 o'clock, maybe you're heading home from work, getting into the car. It's still going to be cold. Start up your car for just a few minutes before you head out the door. I know I need to do that before I head out the door today. And then by 5 a.m. Friday morning, I really think Future Trek is underdoing these temperatures. I feel like our wind chills will be likely around 30 below across multiple spots, but at least we'll be about the 20s to mid 20s below zero. It's still going to be downright cold. We start to retrieve some back to the positive numbers, but it's still going to feel like below zero around much of the area by Friday at noon. Well, if you may encounter some frostbite, maybe you do have to be outside. Drink warm liquids. Don't forget the extra layers that will help prevent that. Get in a warm bath if you need to, and if your skin turns blue or gray, definitely go to the hospital because frostbite can become a serious injury. Today's highs, well, we'll have to see if we can make it to the single digits above zero under a partly cloudy sky. Tonight, dropping down to the teens below zero. Yes, that's the actual temperature with wind chills right around 25 to 30 below. City by city forecast shows Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. Relief is on the way come Saturday. Temperatures around 30 degrees with the mostly cloudy sky. We remain dry through the rest of the 10-day forecast. We get a little bit cooler again come Sunday and Monday.